Let's go to the zoo and stomp like the elephants do. Let's go to the zoo and stomp like the elephants do. Hey friends! Me and all my animal buddies are here to say... Congratulations! We have finished all the letters of the alphabet from A to Z. Guys, you did a great job. You are so smart. I am so proud of you. And I can't wait to celebrate together on your hard work all year. So congratulations. Give yourself a big pat on the back and a big hug and a big kiss from this dawn because you are 26 letters smarter than you were when you started. We're going to go on with our day and then talk about our special Zoom that we're going to have today. So let's get started. Okay, friends, calendar time. And as you can see, I don't know if you can notice up there, but I've got a lot of my animal friends. Some of them are zoo animals and some of them are farm animals and some of them are pretend animals. But they wanted to join us today to congratulate us on getting to the letter Z and help us celebrate fun, fabulous Friday. Check out that trunk. He's adorable. All right, guys, we are still in the month of May, but we're getting into it. And here we go with M-A-Y spells May. And counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is great. We are up to the eighth day of May. Fun, fabulous Friday, the eighth day. And I already gave you the answer. Today is Friday. So do you know what that means? What's tomorrow, boys and girls? If today is fun, fabulous Friday, what's tomorrow? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You said it. Saturday. Tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow's a day off. Miss Dawn's going to sleep a little bit later. We won't have a video, but that's okay because I'll be back on Monday. And again, we have our birthdays coming up. Miss Lori's. Oh, you can't see it today, but it's here. Miss Lori's is the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18 days Miss Lori has to wait for her birthday, but it'll go fast and we'll get there real soon. We are going to jump right into some work today. And one of the things I have sent to your house looks just like this. And it has a farmhouse on this side and a zoo picture on this side. And on the bottom of the paper are a bunch of animals. Let's count those animals. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten animal friends. What I need you to do first is to color. You can color the farmhouse and the zoo picture and color in those animals and then you're going to cut them out carefully with your scissors and maybe with the help of a grown-up. And then we're going to sort them out in the place that they belong. So let's get that done. Okay, friends, so there are lots of animals in the world. And like I showed you, some are pretend, some are from the zoo, some can be from our house pets, and some are at, in a farm. The difference between an animal that belongs on a farm and an animal that's in the zoo. In the zoo are mostly animals that you couldn't really play with or have as pets or necessarily touch them because they are wilder animals and they need to be contained or kept in a cage or behind glass because they could be harmful because they are animals. Farm animals generally are animals that produce something that we use, like cows give us milk and we can get eggs from the chickens. So farm animals are usually friendly. We can feed them and run around with the chickens and pet the goats, but they are not as wild as animals that belong in the zoo. So we're going to get those pictures that you cut up and colored, and let's decide if it's an animal that belongs in a zoo or should live in a farm. Miss Dawn has colored and cut out all her animals. 
They are really tiny, so I'm going to hold them close, but let's try and find them together and put them where they belong. All you need now for this is a glue stick. I'll get mine open and ready, and let's start. And the first animal I'm going to show you is this guy. Check him out. He's a cute rhinoceros rhinoceros so what do you think zoo or farm do you think you can pet a rhinoceros and play ball with a rhinoceros probably not boys and girls that is a zoo animal so i'm gonna put a little glue on the back of the picture of the rhino and i'm gonna place him in the zoo he is a zoo animal that's not the kind of animal you can have in your backyard and run around and play with <laughs> all right Next animal I have is a big gray elephant. Now, I can play with this elephant in my backyard and in my house, and I can even sleep and take naps and smush this elephant. But a real live elephant needs to be in a zoo. You can't really play with an elephant and keep him in your house as a pet. He is a wild animal and he belongs in the zoo next to or underneath his friend, the rhinoceros. Look, I'm wearing gray just like my zoo friends so far. All right, oh, here's a cutie. I didn't color him because he's white and he is a sheep. Now, what do you think? I have actually pet and fed a bottle to sheep. And you know what sheep give us? They give us the wool from their backs to make into clothing. So they are a farm animal because they help produce something that we use and they are not wild. Although once they tried to eat the tag off of my shirt that day. So it still is a farm animal. So your sheep is going to go into the farm. And there he is. All right, let's see what comes up next. Oh, I like this guy. The monkey man. Look at that little monkey. He is a cutie. But what do you think? Is a monkey a farm animal or a zoo animal? I hope you said zoo because the monkeys need to swing from trees and branches and live in the wild. So in a zoo, they can create those that atmosphere and give them branches and trees. You couldn't keep one in a house. It wouldn't even be happy if you had him in a house. He needs to run free and wild. He is a zoo animal. Cute little monkey. He's going to go underneath my elephant right there in the zoo section. All right, here we go. Oh, what is that, Miss Dawn? That's me oinking because my next picture is a piggy. I colored him pink, a pink piggy. What do you think, guys? Well, we get a lot of things from the piggy. Maybe some things that you might even eat like bacon, but they are funny, roly-poly in the dirt animals, and they live on a farm, a farm. So let's put your piggy in the farm with his friend, Mr. Sheep. All right, here comes another one. Roar, said the lion. That's a pretty easy one, boys and girls, right? Can you pet the lion and play with a lion? Some people think so, but they have their own TV show and they're making a lot of money off of that. But a lion is not a pet. It is a wild animal and it belongs in a zoo where you can go see it safely behind glass and love to watch it in the wild. Wild and free, so a lion is a zoo animal. Well, we have a lot of zoo animals. Next one up. Oh, I love this one. Look how I colored it. How cute is this little chicken? What do you think, boys and girls? Is a chicken wild? Well, they do run around silly-nilly on the farm, but they belong on the farm because they give eggs and they are a more docile or calm animal. So chickens live on a farm with the sheep and the pigs. All right. Moo. Moo to you too. What do you think, boys and girls, farm or zoo? Moo might rhyme with zoo, but the cow belongs on a farm. It's a farm animal. And what do we get from cows? We get milk and other food. So the cow goes on the farm. Moo, moo here and a moo, moo there. Here a moo, there a moo. And there he goes. 
All right, I have two pictures left. The first one is Tony the Tiger. Tony the... Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Dawn, you're so silly. That's a zebra. A z -z 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 zebra. That's why I didn't color it, because it's already black and white. And where do we see the zebra? At the z -z -z zoo. A zebra is a zoo animal. I am so silly. Zoo, animal, zebra. And our last picture, the last picture I have, is a horse. A horse. It looks just like a zebra, except it doesn't have those stripes. And a horse is the kind of animal that you can ride if you go horseback riding and on a trail. So you would find the horse because it's a much calmer animal on the farm. The farm. Horse on the farm. Great job, friends. So we have on the farm, one, two, three, four, five animals on the farm. And in the zoo, we have one, two, three, four, five. They are equal. Five farm animals, five zoo animals, and you did great. All right, friends, let's take a virtual trip to the zoo. Sit, sit. 
were awesome. I can't wait to get back to the zoo. But there were a lot of animals and we've been counting and boys and girls, you are great counters and you've been counting small numbers. But today I have a challenge for you with lots of animals. So on this worksheet that I sent home, there are four different types of animals that we are going to count. And then the numbers be next to them. We have to color in the one that is correct. So let's get started. Okay, friends. Now, it's very important when you count. Miss Dawn always tells you that you have to touch when you say each number. That way you don't get confused and you can keep up. And we have a lot of monkeys to count on the first box. So let's count those monkeys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You see three numbers. Which one do you think says 21? I'll give you a hint. You hear the number one when I say it. So which one is 21? Did you point to the one that looks like this? A two and a one. This means 20 and that means one. 21. So that is the number you are going to color right here in the middle. 21, I am coloring over 21. There are 21 monkeys. And boys and girls, someday when you learn to count by fives, you're going to be able to count this even faster because there are five monkeys on each line. And as you get older, you're going to learn to count like this. Watch this. Five, 10, 15, 20, one. That's faster counting when you learn to count by fives. Let's look at our elephants over here. Let's count. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Twenty-two elephants. Now remember, boys and girls, if this is a 21, because it has a 2 and a 1, 22 is going to have 22, two twos, 22 elephants. So you are going to find 22, there it is at the bottom, and color in the box that says 22. There are 22, that's a lot of elephants. And again, if you look, it has 5, 5, 5, 5 in that line. And if you get older and you learn to count by fives, you'd be able to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. Faster counting. All right, boys and girls, let's check out our lines and get ready to point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Now remember, this was 21. This was 22. So what is 23 going to look like? A 2 and a 3. 2, 3 is 23. 23 lions. Do you see it? I see it right there. The first one, color in 23. Boys and girls, you're counting so high and so well. Watch Miss Dawn. She's going to do it by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. Faster counting. All right, last one. The z -z -z zebras are our last letter. Let's point and count. Wow, boys and girls, there are a lot of zebras, so stay with me. Five, ten. Oh, Miss Dawn, you're so silly. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Score twenty-four. All right. A two and a. Did you say four? Two and a four is twenty-four. 24 zebras, it's right there in the middle, two and a four. Give it a color in. 24 zebras. Imagine 24 zebras running around. And now if you wanted to try faster counting. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Guys, great big counting to those big numbers. I am very proud of you. Lots of counting today, friends. There is another sheet that was sent over to your house that looks like this. And what animals are these? Who's that? That is a giraffe. Giraffe. And next to giraffe is the hippo. The hippo. Again, Miss Dawn has a stripy hippo. That's just the way her computer likes to print out the hippo. But what I would like you to do is with a pencil or a marker, you can see the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten across the bottom of your puzzle. The, Miss Dawn would like you to trace all those numbers in your neatest handwriting. Trace each number in the box. And when you're done tracing them with a grown-up, Take your scissors and let's cut out the rectangle and then each strip of paper on the line all the way through so that you'll have 10 pieces of paper to put together for puzzle time. Voila! Miss Dawn has cut out all her strips of papers with those numbers at the bottom. But guess what? Miss Dawn mixed them all up. So it's going to be a little hard for her to make her puzzle. Wait a minute. Remember, the numbers were in number order. So we need to start with one and put them together up to 10. And that'll put our puzzle back together again.
Okay, friends, so we're gonna put those strips of paper back together again. Now, you can just do this down on a table and put them together again so that you can take them apart and keep doing the puzzle over and over again. Miss Dawn is just gonna glue it on a piece of paper because she's gonna make it a picture that she saves and so that she can show you how they go together. So you don't have to glue it, but you can if you want to, just to make it a picture that you can hang up. So the first thing we need to do is find the number one. Number one. Fine, number one, it looks like this. It's just a little ear and a piece of the giraffe's bottom. Uh, again, I'm gonna put glue, but you can just lay yours down on a table or on a piece of paper right in the beginning so you have plenty of room for the next one. So, one, two, find your number two. Here's that number two right there that I traced. I see a little bit of an eye and more of the giraffe's bottom in one, but that's gonna be next because one, two, and I'm gonna line them up just so that they match. See that? So now we have a whole ear and the body matches up. All right, one, two, three, three free. Can you find three free? There's number three up. Oh, I see two peeping eyes and two nose and some spots. Number three comes next. We got one, two, three. There's our puzzle. It's coming together. I almost see the whole giraffe. Let's find four. Four score. Four score. More giraffe and his other ears coming out. Let's line that one up right like that. Oh, he's a cutie patootie. Four. One, two, three, four, five alive. Can you find the number Five alive. There it is, friends. Five. Looks like a little giraffe is on that one. And the beginning of the hippo. So that's going to be our next piece. Line it up right next. Oh, and we've completed the giraffe. He's got his other ear. We got one whole giraffe and a little bit of our hippo. One, two, three, four, five, six sticks, boys and girls. Six sticks. Oh, there it is. Six. Oops. Six sticks. Six sticks is next. Love those rhyming words. Six sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six. What comes next? Seven heaven. Seven heaven. I see that hippo peeping at you. That's going to be the next one. We line it up so that it fits just like our puzzle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is great, and so are you. There's our number eight. Looks like a little snowman at the bottom. Eight is great. And we slide him right next to, up. Oh, there's two hippo eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is fine. Can you find nine? Nine is fine. There's the rest of our hippo coming into the picture. Place that one right next to eight, nine. Nine is fine. We almost have both our friends. We need the last number, 10, 10. That's the one with a one and a zero, and that's the end of our hippo. I will get mine ready to place. I got more glue on my pants than I got on the piece of paper, but... Ta-da! Two zoo pals. Good job, boys and girls. Okay, friends. Now, the next video Miss Dawn wants to show you is about animals and their mommies. We all have mommies, right? And this Sunday, we are going to be celebrating Mother's Day. I want to show you my little babies. That's my son, James. I talk about him all the time. And that's my daughter, Danielle. And that's my daughter, Amanda. I am their mommy. And these animals have mommies too, just like you. Animal Mothers by Bobby Kalman. Some animal mothers take care of their babies. This mother duck is taking care of her ducklings. Some animal mothers bring food to their babies. This mother bird is bringing a fish to her chick. Some animal mothers feed their babies milk from their bodies. Cat mothers feed their kittens milk. Fox mothers also feed their kits milk from their bodies. 
Some animal mothers help their babies stand up and walk. This mother deer is helping her fawn take its first steps. Some animal mothers teach their babies how to run. This pony mother is galloping or running fast with her fowl. Some animal mothers move their babies often to keep them safe. This cougar mother carries her cub by the back of its neck. Some animal mothers carry their babies in pouches. Kangaroo mothers carry their joeys in pouches. Joeys are baby kangaroos. Some animal mothers hug their babies. This wallaby mother is hugging her joey. Some animal mothers kiss their babies. This dog mother is kissing her puppy. What are these animal mothers doing with their babies? This elephant mother is washing her calf, giving her baby a bath or a shower. The cat mother is cleaning her kitten. The lynx mother is playing with her cub. The polar bear mother and her cub are taking a nap. That video was adorable. Now, we all have mommies and our mommies do a lot of the same things that the animals we just watched do, like give kisses like the doggy did, teach us how to walk like the deer did, carry us like the kangaroo, you guys get carried a lot, and they even give hugs like the wallaby. They clean us when they help us with our bath or our shower. Our mommies love us so much and they do so many things because they love you. And so this Sunday, which is Mother's Day, is a day to be thankful for your mommy and celebrate how awesome mommies are. So we're going to talk more about Mother's Day on the Zoom that we're having soon. And we're going to have some more animal fun. So give your mommies extra hugs and kisses and be really, really good this weekend for Mother's Day. And I'll see you in a bit to talk more about that on Zoom. I love you. See you soon, babies. <laughs> Little bird, little bird, can you clap? No, I can't, no, I can't, I can't clap. Little bird, little bird, can you fly? Yes, I can, yes, I can, I can fly. No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't fly. Elephant, elephant, can you stomp? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can stomp.